So it has been 413 days since I uploaded my last video. And with that being said, my last sit down video was 439 days ago. So we're back. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first and last video of 2022. These apparently the year got away from me, and I didn't post any videos this year. Today's video is going to be the highly anticipated, the very heavily requested, What I Got for Christmas Haul 2022. Okay, <laughs> let me take a thumbnail. Let's see. That's kind of good, right? I don't know. It is a classic that the day after Christmas, everybody uploads their Christmas haul of everything they got for Christmas, and I am no different. I'm gonna do it this year. Now, I don't know how your families open gifts on Christmas. I know some people start with the stockings, some people end with the stockings. My family, personally, we start with our Christmas stockings and then we move on to the other gifts. So, I'm going to start with what I got in my Christmas stocking. And in stockings, we're gonna start with my sister, Kat. This is one of those, like, headbands. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a loop headband. It's the waffle material, which I actually am kind of obsessed with. I don't know why, I just love the texture of like the waffle material. It is in an olive green color, which if you know me, you know that I love wearing the color green. I'm very excited. I'm not a huge headband person. But I think that's just because I don't have many headbands. In 2023, I'm definitely gonna try to up my like everyday fashion game. I am notorious for just like putting on a t-shirt and leggings and calling it a day when I don't have something to do. And I really wanna change that. Cute accessories like a headband is gonna be my way to like dress up my hair on a lazy day. If I just put my hair up in a bun and then put a headband on. It'll be cute. Next, we have a lot of food items in the stockings, so just bear that in mind. A lot of the stocking stuffers are candy. This is a Peppermint Bark Bar. Peppermint Bark is one of my favorite Christmas flavors. I love like peppermint and chocolate. I'm a huge peppermint mocha fan from Starbucks, so this is very much up my alley. To go along with the peppermint and chocolate vibe. We have these Lindor peppermint white chocolate truffles. We got this cute little Swiss Miss marshmallow. So this is just a hot cocoa mix with marshmallows inside. I believe there are different flavors. I think my sister got peppermint hot chocolate. This is just the plain hot chocolate. And look how cute the little box is. I love it. It's green packaging, which green is my favorite color. So there you go. She also got me a Domino's gift card, and I, oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, I'm from New York. New York is kind of notorious for being one of the places with the best pizza, and this might be a crime for some New Yorkers to see, but I love Domino's, okay? I went to college in Connecticut, and the pizza in Connecticut is not very good, but I knew that Domino's was gonna be the same everywhere. So I was like, okay, Domino's isn't great pizza, but it's pizza that I know what it's gonna taste like. So it wasn't, there was like no risk anytime I ordered Domino's. Domino's is like the perfect weekend, lazy, I don't wanna cook, I just wanna eat really bad pizza and watch TV all day. Then I received this. It's like a macaroon, macaron, macaroon, I don't know. I know that there's a difference, but I don't know which one is this. It is a little makeup sponge. I'm excited. I usually, normally if I am putting on makeup, I use a normal beauty blender. So I'm interested to see how this one works. And last but not least, we got this. So this is a big Hershey Kiss. It's not the giant version and it's not the normal sized version. I would say it's pretty medium, but it's still bigger than the regular version. And it is a Santa hat Hershey Kiss. <laughs> I love chocolate. I think Hershey's is my favorite chocolate. And I know that some people don't agree because they're like, that's not even really good chocolate. But like for me, I just love it so much. So let us move on to what I got from my sister Chloe in my stocking. Staying on the chocolate theme, we have chocolate spoons. So I got milk chocolate spoons. My other sister got dark chocolate spoons. Oh my gosh, they're coming out. You use these to mix your hot drinks. 
preferably a coffee or a hot cocoa. I don't think I'll be using these to mix my tea. Isn't it so cute? I love it. If I wanted to, I could save these and put them out in my hot cocoa bar for next year. I do have peppermint versions of mixing spoons, so it would be kind of cute to have both. Speaking of coffee, we have this. It is a little pack of holiday coffees. There are four flavors in this box. We have mocha latte, peppermint latte, French vanilla, and traditional latte mix. So, <laughs> it's so cute. So it is a little like coffee cup with a lid and everything. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. It tells you the flavor that you have on the front and then you open it up and there is a packet of coffee and you just mix it with hot water and that is so cute. Next we have these, which I didn't even know these existed. So Andy's mints are like the mints that you would get at Olive Garden after. We are obsessed with them. We love them. They make a peppermint version. Peppermint Crunch Thins by Andy's and I think they are red. Love Andy's mints. Peppermint, even better. The next thing I got as a little stocking stuffer from Chloe is this. It's a little wallflower refill from Bath and Body Works and it is in the scent Marshmallow Fireside. Arguably one of the best scents that Bath and Body Works has come out with. If you have not tried it, please try it. It is so good. My mom is not a huge fan of the sweet smelling like food scents from Bath and Body Works or really anywhere. I love the sweet smelling food scents, but she even likes this one. It's really, really good. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Oh, I love it. And then last in my stocking from my sister Chloe is some socks. These are Harry Potter socks, obviously, as you can tell. There is the H for Hogwarts and then Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. And these are like thick, like these are thick socks. And then my favorite part, I know this sounds maybe like don't come for me in the comments, but there are little grips at the bottom. For me personally, I need grips on the bottom of my socks because I am notorious to slip. I don't know what it is about me, but I am always slipping. So when I'm walking around in socks and I'm on like a tile of floor, I can slip. I appreciate the grips on the socks. So the last, I guess, category of stocking stuffers are stocking stuffers from Santa Claus. <laughs> and we are going to get right into it. So the first thing I have is, so this is a rolling pin. I don't own a rolling pin. I need a rolling pin. Santa brought me a rolling pin. I'm actually very excited for this. I try to hack it and I use like my hydro flask as a rolling pin and it's just, it doesn't work. It really, people who can use other things as rolling pins, you guys are like witches because I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't do it. But now I have a rolling pin and I'm very excited. It's very sturdy. It's nice. In the same realm of like kitchen, Appliance, not appliances, kitchen tools, I guess. <laughs> we have a can opener! I wanted to make cranberry brie bites to bring to my family's Thanksgiving dinner, and I don't own a can opener. So I didn't know how to open the can of cranberry. I borrowed my mother's can opener, so thank you, Santa, for giving me a can opener. I'm not totally convinced I know how to use one of these. I gotta be honest. Something you cannot go wrong gifting. Gift cards! So I got two gas gift cards. These are just for a gas station that is by my house. We got two $25 gift cards, which is great. We also have this. This is just an Amazon gift card. Arguably one of the easiest gifts to give somebody. I appreciate this so much because I spend ridiculous amounts of money on Amazon. Um, yeah, and I already spent this, so. That's why it's out of its little packaging. We also got some candy. We got Nerds Rope this year, which I couldn't tell you the last time I even ate Nerds Rope, but it's, I love Nerds Rope. I've been very into like sour candies recently and like chewy candy recently. If you're my boss, don't watch this video because you're not gonna be happy hearing that. But two Nerds Ropes, I'm excited. I, lo ugh, I love a good Nerds Rope. Along with that, we got some Godiva milk chocolate pearls. When I was younger, my sisters and I would go to Macy's with my mom and they would always have ch milk chocolate pearls at the register. So we'd always beg her to buy us them. But like these, this is so nostalgic for me. Also have this. This is R & Co Smoothing Shampoo. My sisters and I each got a specific shampoo for our hair. Like my hair can get very frizzy. Um, my hair has been dyed quite a lot, so 
I think the smoothing shampoo was a good call. Thank you, Santa. Last but not least, we have two gifts that are very important to me. They are very useful gifts. Believe it or not, these are very good gifts for somebody like me. So let me just start by saying I am a dancer. I have danced all my life. My body is beat up. My body has gone through the ringer. It's been to heck and back. So, you know, just, just know that I'm always looking for Advil. I never seem to have any Advil, like, in my possession. I'm always asking my mom if she has Advil or if she has Tylenol. When I opened this, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this is a joke. But then I was like, wait, this is very useful. So, I got those. Okay, we've done stocking stuffers. Now let's move on to main gifts. So, from my sister Kat, we are starting off with this, first of all, kind of obsessed with it. It is a, I guess corduroy, maybe? Would you consider this corduroy? An olive green corduroy cropped zip up from Airy. I have been talking about purging my entire wardrobe and just getting like pieces that I can put together and make different outfits with. Like I said, I really do want to up my like everyday outfit game. So I believe what I'm gonna do eventually is just purge my entire wardrobe, get rid of a lot of stuff, sell a lot of stuff, and kind of build up a wardrobe with the basics. So like plain t-shirts, plain long sleeves, plain jackets like this, you know, things like that. I feel like this is a perfect piece to have. I love it, I really do. Another piece of clothing that my sister bought me are these. These are Under Armour leggings. It's funny because I'm trying to minimalize my everyday wardrobe and maximize my workout wardrobe. I am in the process of extending my workout clothes collection. I want fun colors, fun patterns, things like that. So again, perfect. A nice little green camo moment. These are so soft. I, I'm, I'm obsessed already. So I'm very excited to wear these to work out. So the next thing that I have from my sister Kat is these cutie little things. Oh my goodness. First of all, Too Faced packaging. It's some of the cutest packaging I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. And I stand by that. So this is the Too Faced You're So Hot mini eyeshadow palette. And then this is a Too Faced You're So Hot little gift package. It comes with a exclusive makeup bag, the Christmas Cocoa Limited Edition Lip Injection Power Plumping Lip Gloss, and a Hot Cocoa Limited Edition Bronzer. And let me tell you how freaking cute. First of all, the little smiles on these marshmallows absolutely kills me. I, oh. And then when you open the makeup bag, this is the Hot Cocoa Bronzer. And then you open it up, and there is a little hot chocolate with whipped cream just smiling up at you. And then we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. It is in this beautiful, like, rich brown. Ooh, that smells like chocolate. And then we have the mini palette. And you open it up, and there are eight beautiful chocolatey shades. Ugh. If you have somebody in your life that loves makeup and loves the, like, cute, cute girl aesthetic. Too Faced, Too Faced really has some of the best packaging. Look at this giant freaking thing. So this is the Pop Moments, Loki and Sylvie from the Disney Plus show Loki. If you know me, you know I love Marvel. Y'all know I have a crazy, I have a crazy Funko Pop addiction. I have a huge collection in my office, shelves on shelves of displayed Funko Pops. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I truly do not know where I'm gonna put this. But, and last but not least, from my sister Kat, we have this, a new lounge fly. I am so excited. Most of the lounge fly bags that I own are Marvel bags. I have the Black Widow, I have Spider-Man, I have the Scarlet Witch, I have WandaVision. But I love that it has Ohana means family, like, embossed, engraved on the front. I don't know. And he's drinking out of his little coconut. I love it. I have to organize my lounge flies because I have so many just at the top of my closet. Next, we have my sister, Chloe. I'm gonna start with this because it's just a photo because it didn't come in time. I have to give props to my sister for this. I posted this thing on my Instagram story like two weeks ago and she ordered it and it didn't come in time, but I'm not shocked it didn't come in time because it's from some like random, random website. But this is 
a vintage Harry Potter leather journal and I obviously wanted the Slytherin one because I am a Slytherin. I can't wait to get it. There's really not much I can show you about it, but it's cool looking, right? So next from my sister, we got this, which is a cute little PJ set. This is from Hollister. So we got the plaid pants with the Hollister waistband. I love the style of these. And then we have this long sleeved shirt and it says Hollister and the little seagull is the same plaid as the pants. These are like the perfect Christmas lounging wear. I was gonna wear it today. I didn't wanna wear it before I filmed my haul. So probably after this video, I'm going to put these on. I wish you guys could feel how soft this stuff is, but it's so soft, very comfortable. The next gift I got for my sister is a bit of a gag gift. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna show it. I don't even wanna put it in. Okay, that's enough of that. So the next thing I got for my sister is so cute. I almost wish that I had found this like in the beginning of the Christmas time because it's so perfect. This is a winter coffee shop. There are six Keurig cups of coffee and then there are six coffee syrups. The flavors we have are gingerbread, French vanilla, hot buttered rum, roasted chestnut, peppermint mocha, and glazed cinnamon roll coffees. And then the syrups are mocha, hazelnut, cinnamon, vanilla, salted caramel, white chocolate, and peppermint bark. I cannot freaking wait to try one of these. Again, I was gonna try it this morning, but I didn't want it to be opened before I did the haul video, so I just made a normal coffee. Everybody has been posting like coffee setup videos and I've become obsessed. I want a coffee bar in my kitchen. Here we are, this is, this is how I'm gonna do it. And last but not least, from my dear sister, in preparation to up my fashion game, up my outfit game, my everyday like casual outfit game. I have been watching a lot of TikToks of like trending pieces, trending shoes, trending outfit pieces, things like that. So if you are on TikTok and you are up with the trends, you probably know what these are. So these are the UGG Ultra Mini Boots. As you can see, they are the very, very short pair. I've seen so many people wearing these with cute little crew socks, and I am no better than anybody else. I'm gonna be doing the same thing. These are in the shade Tomatia, I think. I kind of like that they are a more muted version of a brown, and they do have a little tiny, tiny little twinge of green in them, which I can appreciate because green is my favorite color. I'm very excited to start wearing these. I am nervous to wear these. I don't want to ruin these. I had a pair of Ugg boots in like high school that got destroyed. I definitely have to seal them with that little sealer that they have. Chloe did good. Chloe did good. Anyway, I'll do gifts from Santa first. These are actually gifts that all of like me and my sisters all got the same thing. Some people don't like when that happens. Like personally, I don't mind. First, we are going to start with this. I bet you don't know what this is. Well, this is my friend, Silk Pillowcase. All of us asked for this because all of us want to reap the benefits of a Silk Pillowcase. These are apparently good for your skin, good for your hair. They help stop breakouts. They stay cool at night. We all got one. I only sleep with one pillow under my head and then I like have the other one under my leg. So I only need one Silk Pillowcase. So I'm very excited. Next we have some Coach Crew socks. They're quarter socks. There is a like light pink and tan version and then there is a black and brown version. This is going to be the start of my giant collection of crew socks that I am going to acquire now because I wanna wear them with my Uggs. Going with the Coach theme, we have a Coach umbrella. I'm not gonna open it inside because I do not need the bad luck, but it's very cute. It is this like cream coach floral pattern. You open the umbrella and it is pink with the same coach pattern on the tip of the umbrella. To round out the coach theme from Santa Claus, we also all got this. This is a passport holder with like a little wallet on the side. It says Coach New York, designed in New York City, which we're from New York. And then it has this C. My sister's name is Chloe, so this works as like an initial, like C. So I'm pretending that it's a lowercase b. And then we got some cash from Santa, which I'm not gonna show because we all know what cash looks like. So lastly, these are all of the gifts that I got from my parents. Start, so we're gonna start with these. These are so freaking cute, first of all. So these are two little tea light holders. As you can see, the inside hole is a heart and then it has 
the quote from Hercules, a true hero isn't measured by the size of his strength, but by the strength of his heart. And then you have two pictures of Hercules and Meg. Hercules is my favorite Disney movie of all time. To this day, I am 26 years old and I still stand by the fact that Hercules is my favorite Disney movie ever. It has little tea lights. You can put two tea lights in the top and light them. Next follows the Disney theme as well. This is a new blender bottle and it says attitude is everything with little Minnie Mouse herself. Very cute, very cute. Good quality, 28 ounces, stain and odor resistant, rounded base. Looks good. It's got a little pink detail, which I love. Next, we have Black Opium Perfume. This is my scent. This, if you ever want to know what I smell like, it's Black Opium. My roommate and best friend in college and I actually both wore Black Opium. So, you know, it was like, it was like a cute little, like, all oh, the roomies were wearing Black Opium together. How sweet. And I will probably wear that for the rest of my life. So next, this is actually, this is a very thoughtful gift from my mother. So this is a jacket. It's like a workout jacket. It is a zip up jacket, just a plain black jacket that you would wear to work out. She's so cute. The reason that she got it for me, this is a brand called Spider Active, okay? And if you look at the logo of Spider Active, it's a Black Widow spider. My favorite Avenger is Black Widow. Like I would love to be Black Widow. I wanna be her. She's so cool. My mother literally bought me this because the jacket has a Black Widow spider on it. But yeah, it's really cute. It has, it is fully zip up. As you can see, it has zip pockets on the sides. It's long sleeved and the sleeves have thumb holes. I am obsessed with thumb holes. I was really into the arm sock craze back in the day as well. So like, this isn't a shop. Very nice jacket. Cannot wait to wear that. Might end up living in that jacket, honestly. To go along, with my new jacket to work out in. I got some new sneakers. I have a pair of workout sneakers that I've been wearing for like two years at this point. They are dead, they're done. The ankles have no support. My feet like roll in the shoes. It's just not good, it's not good. So I did ask for new sneakers to work out in. And these are the ones that I got. They are so cute. First of all, the color is adorable. These are Nikes. They have a comfort footbed. They're very padded. They have such, like, I can feel the ankle support in these. And that is something that I really look for in a sneaker. I can feel the arch support in these shoes. I am, I am so excited. And the color is just so cute. Nice pale little pink moment. I love it. Can't wait to start working out in these. The next thing I got from my parents is a new coach purse. Over the shoulder, cross body, you know, very cute. The strap is very thin, I will say. I'm a little shocked at how thin the strap is, but it's very nice. It's dark green with some gold accents. It's giving Loki. It's giving Slytherin. It has a zipper pocket in the front and then the main pocket. It's got a little inside pocket for little belongings. I have a lot of bags that I don't use. So in 2023, I'm going to be a purse gal. I'm going to match my purse to my outfit. It's going to be great adding this to the collection. Next, I got... Yes! This is a new New York Rangers jersey. I have a huge collection of Rangers jerseys in my closet. This is their military appreciation night jersey. I love it. I love this. This like camo detail. It looks mesh, but it's not, but it looks so cool. I love the logo. It's very distressed, feels really cool. Awesome, so sick. It says, I salute, and then you can write the name of the person and the branch that they serve in. It is very, it's a very cool detail to have. All right, next from my parents, this is arguably one of the more exciting gifts that I received from my parents. So my mom and I started watching Wednesday. We are obsessed with Wednesday. We are obsessed with the show. I have been obsessed with these shoes. My sister actually owns a pair, not this style, but owns a pair of these shoes and I wanted them so badly. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with these. So these are Doc Martin Mary Janes, basically. And I did receive the ones with the flower buckle. They're so cute. I tried them on yesterday. They give me like three inches. These are like sturdy. Like I could knock someone out with these. Everything I got for Christmas this year is just confirming that I need to up my style game. Hopefully I will be able to style these because they are such a freaking cute pair of shoes. And last but not least, my final gift of Christmas from my parents. It's a new phone! The back of my phone was shattered. I took it to Disney World, 
propped it up to try to take a photo. It fell down, it shattered. It ruined my whole day, truly. I've had that phone, I think I got that phone for Christmas like three or four years ago. So it's, I've had the phone for a long time. My upgrade came around and my sister took my upgrade. So then my sister's upgrade came around and my mom took her upgrade. Kind of a running joke in my family that like my upgrade was stolen and then somebody else took the next upgrade and then somebody else took the next upgrade. But we finally have upgraded. We finally, finally got our upgrade. Oh my gosh, it's 11 11. Wow, that's scary. This is the iPhone 14 Plus. It is the red version. Almost immediately after opening this on Christmas Day, I went on Amazon and I ordered a phone case and I ordered screen protectors because I cannot ruin this phone. I really can't. I've already dropped it. So we're not off to a great start. That is it. That is my what I got for Christmas haul 2022. If you're like me and you're super nosy and just want to know what people received for Christmas, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. We are working so hard. I have so many videos planned. 2023 is going to be different. I have videos planned until like October for next year and I'm gonna do them. This is gonna be my year. So if you would hit that subscribe button and help me on my journey to, what's a good goal? 10,000 subscribers? 10,000 subscribers by 2024. If you are interested in following my everyday, daily, day-to-day -day life, be sure to follow me on Twitter or on Instagram or even on TikTok. I think we're at almost 69K. So I'm working to get 100K on TikTok before 2024. So if you wanna help me out there, you can go follow me there. I do also stream on Twitch now. That is a new thing. If you have been following me since the I'm gonna be a Twitch streamer video, we are making big progress. We now have a full setup and a full computer and all of that good stuff. So if you are interested in following me over on Twitch, you should go do that. I will link that down below. I have a Twitch YouTube channel if you would like to subscribe to that. I have a VOD channel that I will be posting full VODs on the day after I stream. So if you are interested in just sitting and watching the full stream over again and you prefer YouTube over Twitch, I will link that channel down below. I also have a TikTok account for my Twitch journey if you would like to follow that. And I have also started the journey of doing more performance type videos, performance content, whether it be singing, dancing, monologues, things like that. I have that channel if you would like to go check it out and I also have an Instagram and a TikTok account for those as well. And last but not least, my best friend and I have finally decided to start the podcast that we have been talking about. We have a YouTube channel, we have an Instagram account, we have a TikTok account. If you would like to go follow those, I would really appreciate it. I believe we also have a Twitter account. So be sure to follow all of those. I will link every single social media that I just spoke about down below. If you would like to come support me on any platform, I really appreciate it. It is free to follow somebody so feel free to follow because it's free and it's nice and I love you anyway that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys had a lovely holiday whatever you celebrate and I will see you next year in the next video bye I need a new outro that's the truth